How many times have you been caught using wireless microphones with flat batteries? Now in this video, I'm having a look at a storage and charging case for the Rode Wireless Go series that's an accessory you need to fix the problem. G'day, my name is Gary, and you're watching the channel that helps simplify the technical skills you need so you can focus on creating inspirational video content. If you enjoy my tutorials and reviews, then please consider subscribing. The distributor Pergear.com sent me this ZG Cine charging case for the Wireless Go and the Wireless Go 2. They haven't paid me in any way apart from sending me this sample to review so I can test it out and pass on my conclusions. These are the parts included in the box. The actual charging case, two charging cables for USB-A and USB-C chargers, a protective pouch and a user guide that includes the unit specifications. The case is shaped with round corners making it easy to get in and out of your kit bag and the material it's made from is a fire retardant plastic which of course is a good option because charging devices can get warm. The lid is hinged nicely held shut with a magnetic catch and on the back of the case is a USB-C charging socket to recharge the internal 3400 milliamp hour battery. Now when I used a 10 watt charger it took about two and a half hours to recharge and the tests I did with the 20 watt charger was shorter just over two hours at two hours and five minutes. Along with the USB-C charging socket there's a spare USB-A output to charge your mobile phone or any other devices that use USB sockets. On the front of the case there's a power button and a status indicator to monitor how much fuel's left in the tank. ZG Cine claims that the intelligent circuit inside protects your expensive equipment from overcurrent, over voltage, over temperature, reverse polarity, or short circuit protection, and even monitors the internal temperature and switches off if it gets too hot. So it sounds like it's got everything bar the kitchen sink. I also noticed that it's smart enough to turn off once the charging cycle is finished. Now if you want to interrupt the charging cycle, you can double click the power button and it will switch off. The most important thing of all of course is its ability to charge your transmitter and your receivers. Starting with the Wireless Go transmitter and receiver, I tested out how many times it could charge them. The charger was able to recharge the standard Wireless Go about four and a half times. Now that's more than enough as a backup. After completely recharging the battery bank, I tested out how many times the charger could recharge the Wireless Go 2 set. And as you can see, the battery bank didn't quite make the three recharges that's claimed on the box. Now, in reality, if you start with a full charge at the start of your chute, you know that you've got at least two and a half more charges in the case. Now, that's not a bad backup for a weekend shooting. So summing up the charges battery capacity, it works out that the case can charge the equivalent of eight individual unit charges, so eight components. The build quality is good, it performs the task well as a charging case, and it protects your gear from getting any bumps or knocks. I love the safety features of the intelligent circuit. It's simple to use, especially with the smart charging feature. Value for money? Well, compared to some of the other options available, you can buy a lot of portable battery banks that have a lot more capacity than 3,400 milliamp hour. But that's all you get. There are some triple charging cables available and some soft carry cases for the Wireless Go 2 series. But this unit from CG Zinni is an all-in-one package. And if you're sick of carrying separate bits and pieces, then having to string them all together, this charging case is the solution for you. I've placed some links in the description of this video for you to check out the local details and pricing for yourself. And if you have any questions about the gear, then please type them in the comment section. I read them all and respond as soon as I can. If you'd like to have a look at some of the other reviews I've posted, then you can click on the links over here. Until next time, I'll catch you later.